Hey, thanks for visiting us at ArkelTechZonePage.com. I'm Josh Marses with your Saturday into Sunday weekend forecast update. Short term, we're looking at the potential for maybe one or two severe storms for your Saturday evening. Sunday, we'll see cool air take over, just a few lingering showers. And in a longer term, the threat for some heavier rain as we move into the back half of next week. We are going to keep those scattered rain chances going each day. But the weather situation for us Saturday night, we do have a cold front, which is now spilling south into the I-30 corridor. So storm predictions center does have a marginal risk out for much of East Texas up into Arkansas. That does include the Texarkana area. Looks like if we do see any storms, maybe one or two of them would be capable of some high wind, potentially some large hail, and just a very low end threat that we may see a brief spin-up tornado. But uh, we are beginning to see some of those storms pop up along I-30. Those will swing off to the northeast, and you can see where the cold front is. Uh, we're at 77 in Mount Pleasant. You go 50 miles to the north. We're at 54 in Idabel. So again, that cold air will spill to the south tonight. Eventually cooler air taking over for everybody as we'll be into the 50s and a few kind of locations in the mid-60s south of I-20. This front will actually stall out south of I-20 through the day on Sunday. So there's a look at some of the showers and storms. Uh, future cast showing those up across Texas and Arkansas even just before sunset tonight. We should see severe weather window close once we hit sunset. The temperatures will cool off fairly rapidly as that front pushes to the south, but Futurecast does hold together. Just a few showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm overnight, and that would mainly be across the northern Arklatex. What I want you to see on the map there is where the blue arrows kind of set up. That's where the front will stall, basically down uh, south of the shreveport Bossier area as we move through the day Sunday, and uh, that's kind of important because that will set up where the cooler temperatures will be as uh, will likely be in the mid-70s in Natchitoches. Shreveport in the 50s as well as Texarkana, so it will be a kind of cool and cloudy Sunday for most of us. The front will lift back to the north is a warm front as we go into the beginning of next week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, rain chances will be highest uh, across the northern Arkletex, basically anywhere north of I-30 in Oklahoma and Arkansas. I really don't think most of us will see much rain Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. It's next Thursday, Friday. There's your totals through Wednesday. We could see some one to two inch accumulations across the northern third of the Arkletex, but once we head into uh, Thursday, Friday, that's when our next big upper level disturbance will move in. So that will kind of push some heavier uh, rain and thunderstorms into the region and kind of watching maybe low-end severe weather threat late next week, but we're still expecting we could see some 2 to 4 inch, maybe isolated 5 inch amounts across the very northern tier of the Arklatex. So there's your Sunday high temperatures. Most of us in the 50s and 60s, it will be a little bit cooler uh, and likely cloudy conditions. Not much sun out there, but we'll make it up to about 77 in Natchitoches and that's where that front kind of stalls out. You should warm nicely uh, across the southern third of the Arklatex and just kind of those low-end rain chances through Tuesday will start to increase the rain late Wednesday Wednesday and especially into Thursday and Friday morning. It looks like we may begin to see this pattern of rainfall wind down uh, perhaps late Friday and into the weekend after this.